The Origin Story of NBA Shot Clock A shot clock is a countdown timer that is used in many different games and sports to indicate how long a team has possession of the ball before attempting to score a goal. Basketball, water polo, lacrosse, poker, ringette, corf ball, tennis, 10-pin bowling, and several cue sports are among the sports that use shot clocks. It is comparable to baseball's pitch clock and the play clock used in American and Canadian football. The shot clock used in basketball is the main topic of this article. Depending on the league, the standard shot clock time in basketball is between 24 and 35 seconds. The amount of time a team may have the ball before attempting to score a field goal is shown by this clock. Particularly in the NBA and other leagues where the shot clock lasts for 24 seconds, it may also be referred to as the 24-second clock. The team has violated the shot clock and is punished with a loss of possession if the shot clock approaches zero before the team attempts a field goal. The shot clock is typically displayed to players and spectators below the game clock on a display fixed atop each backboard at professional and collegiate basketball courts. This exhibit might be placed on the ground or attached to a wall behind the finish line in some university and amateur facilities. A shot clock is used in conjunction with a game clock, but it's separate from the game clock since it doesn't show how much time is left in the play period. Definition A digital clock that shows the seconds is called a shot clock, above the backboard behind each goal. The shot clock is typically placed so that offensive players can see exactly how much time. They have to shoot and officials can quickly decide if buzzer beaters should be counted. The NBA requires that the backboard assembly have a transparent shot clock and a game clock that shows the relevant timings on both sides. FIBA, EuroLeague, and many other venues follow this requirement. History Since 1954, the NBA has had a 24-second time limit. In 1956, FIBA instituted a 30-second shot clock in 2000, it changed to 24 seconds. Originally using a 30-second clock, the Women's National Basketball Association, or WNBA, moved to a 24-second clock in 2006. The shot clock in college basketball is 30 seconds. Background Before the shot clock was introduced, the NBA struggled to draw spectators and favorable media attention. Teams in the lead were passing the ball constantly and extending the clock. Following the free throw, the trailing team had no choice but to commit fouls to regain possession. Fans get bored when games had poor scoring and lots of fouls. On November 22, 1950, the Fort Wayne Pistons defeated the Minneapolis Lakers by a record low score of 1918, including 3-1 in the fourth quarter. This was the most extreme instance to lessen the impact of the Lakers' powerful George Mikan. The Pistons held the ball for extended periods without shooting they only attempted 13 shots throughout the game. The result was that the Pistons gave pro basketball a tremendous black eye, according to the ST Paul Dispatch. According to NBA President Morris Podoloff, with the number of talents we have, we naturally run up large scores in our game. A few weeks after the Pistons or Lakers game, the Indianapolis Olympians and Rochester Royals engaged in a six-overtime contest with just one shot allowed in each extra period. The team that received the ball first was required to keep possession of the ball for the duration of each overtime before attempting a last-second shot. Before adopting the shot clock, the NBA experimented with several rule modifications in the early 1950s to speed up play and cut down on fouls. Creation Owner Danny Biasone of the Syracuse Nationals, now known as the Philadelphia 76 Years, and general manager Leo Ferrist, tested a 24-second shot clock at a scrimmage in Syracuse, New York, in 1954. The Syracuse Post longtime standards basketball writer Jack Andrews often recalled how Ferris would spend time at Danny Biasone's Eastwood Bowling Alley, sketching out possible shot clock formulas on a napkin. As stated by Biasone, I examined the box scores of the games that I liked, games where they didn't stall and fool around. I observed that each squad took roughly 60 shots. 120 shots were taken per game. 
I divided 2,880 seconds or 48 minutes by 120 shots to get the total time. Each shot took 24 seconds to complete. At the 1954 team banquet, Ferris was singled out by business manager Bob Sexton for advocating the shot clock rule. For the 1954-55 season, the Nationals won the NBA championship and Biasone and Ferris persuaded the NBA to adopt it. Use and Reaction The NBA's 24-second shot clock caused players so much anxiety when it first went into effect that it almost ever came into play because players were taking less than 20 seconds to shoot. Dolph Shays, a star for Syracuse, we believed that we needed to make shots quickly, a pass and a shot would suffice. But as the game progressed, we saw Danny's 24 seconds had some innate wisdom you could move the ball across the offensive zone for a decent shot. The shot clock and certain new fouling regulations completely changed NBA basketball. Teams scored 79 points per game on average during the final season without a time, 93 points on average during the first season with a clock, which increased to 107 points by the fourth season. With the introduction of the shot clock came an increase in scoring as well as attendance, which within a few years rose by 40% to an average of 4,800 per game. The shot clock was praised almost universally for its contribution to the NBA's improved playing style. Charlie Ekman, a coach, an official remarked that Danny Biasone saved the NBA with the 24-second regulation. Bob Cousy, a star for the Boston Celtics, said, the last quarter could have been fatal before the new rule. The only way to get the ball was by fouling someone because the team in front would hold on to it for an extended period. No one dared attempt a shot in the interim and play slowed down significantly. We have ongoing activity thanks to the clock. In my opinion, it at the moment saved the NBA. It gave the game room to expand and breathe. The introduction of the shot clock was dubbed the most momentous event in the NBA by league president Maurice Podoloff. Biasone's invention salvaged the league, according to the league. Adoption by other leagues. A modified form of the shot clock was adopted by two other professional leagues that competed with the NBA. During its two years of existence, the American Basketball League used a 30-second shot clock. When the American Basketball Association began to play in 1967-68, it also adopted a 30-second timer before converting to the NBA's 24-second format for its last season. The Philippine Basketball Association started using a 25-second shot clock in 1975. This was because the shot clocks installed at the league's primary arenas at the time. The Araneta Coliseum and the Rizal Memorial Coliseum could only be set at five-second intervals. After that, the league began using a 24-second clock beginning with the 1995 campaign. The 23-second clock was still in use by the Metropolitan Basketball Association in the Philippines as of its inaugural season in 1998. The UAAP Basketball Championship and the NCAA Basketball Championship in Collegiate Basketball in the Philippines both employed a 30-second clock before switching to a 24-second clock as of the start of the 2000 and 102 UAAP season 64, the first season following the FIBA regulation change in 2001. That's all for today's origin story video guys. Tell us your thoughts in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let us know what origin story you'd like to learn about next in the comments. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. See you in the next video. Until then, best wishes. Thanks for watching.